Hey everyone, this is your Sally Coach, and today we will be doing Codebusters Lesson 1 Continued, and we will be doing Aristocrats K2. Now, with K2 Aristocrats, they're a little bit more complex than K1 due to the different kinds of ciphertext, plaintext, and the frequency levels, but we will go over all of that today during today's video, and we will also have the second part with the practice problem uploaded in a couple of hours. So if you do want a step-by-step -step guide on how to solve a K2 Aristocrat, please be sure to watch that video because it will be very helpful in case you have any problem solving a K2 Aristocrat. So let's get started on the lesson. Alright, so starting with K2, we can see that we have three different rows here. We have the replacement row, we have the K2 row, and we have the frequency row. So our K2 keyword is going to be in the ciphertext. That means these letters that we have in green, these are the letters that we're going to have in our cipher. These are letters that they're going to give to us. These are the ciphertext letters. And we can see that the letter F is in white because it's not in the ciphertext. But you do have S, which is part of the ciphertext letters and not part of the plain text letters, which means S is going to be part of the ciphertext as well. Now, it's similar to K1 because of the keyword both you have to put into the replacement row where it's um, put into right here, the keyword, and then it continues on the same way, A, B, C. You skip D and E since they're not a keyword, and then you go to F. And just going over it once again, replacement, that's going to be the plain text row. Green are the letters that are in the ciphertext, and then K2 are the ciphertext letters, like all of them in general. This is going to be how for all of them. And the frequency is how many times the ciphertext appears in the cipher. So what that means is that these frequencies are not going to be for our replacement letters, like how many times our real T pops up in the cipher, but it's going to be how many times the ciphertext D pops up in the cipher. Same as all aristocrats, that's just how frequency works. Now, also about keywords, if you don't find out what the keyword is, it doesn't hurt too much because it just helps you find the rest of the letters. But I'd say the most important part is figuring out the entire aristocrat because if you do not figure out the keyword, it doesn't hurt. But sometimes the questions are asking you what the keyword is, so that's when you need to start solving for the keyword. I hope this clears things up, so just watch out for the next video I post about the practice problem, and then we'll go over a step-by-step -step guide on how to solve it in that video. So thank you for watching.